This ain't no joke, guys. And those are actual temperatures. You see where it says apartment? That's with the AC running on high, 93 degrees, but it's 110 on my porch. And that's in the shade. It's 116 out by the chicken coop. I think that's out in the sun, so that's probably a little overinflated, but it's probably it's a, showing 108 uh, on the internet, so it is, it is terrible out there today. Yeah, anyway, let's go make a check. I know everybody's all right because I was just out there, but sometime last night after supper, Miss Tilly decides to wander off. And she's back. I don't know why she keeps doing this. Did you learn a lesson? I just hope you had somewhere cool to be. I know why you show up in summertime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well I got you some cold water over here. I just put ice cubes in it. It's fresh water, okay? You gotta hang around here so I can keep an eye on you. Yeah. Put that down in there for you a little bit ago. It's probably nice and cool. Alright, let's go check on Libby. I'll show you where I got this uh, thermometer over here. It's, see, it's in the sun right now. I need to move it to a more realistic location. Oh my god, it's hot right now. But there is a breeze. Yeah. Like somebody turned a heat gun on, blowing it right on me. Yeah, what's this dude say? 117. Well, there you are. You're not doing too bad. It's hot. It actually, it don't feel too bad over here with this breeze. Chickens are out already. They're hot, but man, it's nice and shady in there. You can see back in there. That's why I put this here. They're all fine. Actually, they haven't even drank much water today. Just a little bit this morning. But they're doing good. Oh. Well, we're gonna wait a little bit to eat, baby. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna wait a little bit to eat. But you gotta get on that supper. Or the ants get to it. Yeah, bowls full of ants. Oh. Well, you didn't feel hot. Yeah. <laughs> You've been up in there, that's nice and dark and cool and well, it ain't nothing cool. But you're as cool as you're gonna get. Now the good news is it's the hottest day that it's gonna be this week. The bad news is the next ten days are all above hundred. I think there's one day that's ninety-nine. Oh man, we're gonna have a picnic that day. Yeah, we're gonna have a picnic that day. That's gonna be cold. I'll have to bust out all our jackets. Yeah. Uh, let's go check on these goofballs. I do this two or three, four times a day during the afternoon. That darn radio's on again, guys. And he's singing. Blah 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 blah. Okay. Don't want a copyright strike. Oh. It ain't no 93 degrees in here, that's for sure. Where's your thermometer? It is. Well, it says 93, trust me. It ain't. They're nice and cozy. Yeah, it's hot, ain't it, guys? You're in front of the fan. You got this fan blowing the air conditioning out. Happy. You just think how much better it's going to be, boy, when I get the rest of this done. There's part that ain't insulated. That's not insulated. None of this. Get that tape going. None of that's insulated. The rest of it. Boy, that's a terrible looking job. You know what? It ain't going to matter. It's all going to be covered. Yep. It'll be extra insulated, boy, though. Alright, I'm gonna get your supper. We're gonna wait about another half hour, guys. It's too hot out there. It's too hot. Alright. Showing everybody you guys are living the life of Riley. 
Oh, yeah. yeah guys I am going nuts so I, I for, totally forgot uh, I got my new shower head and shower set that I've had this for several months I forgot I had it but this has uh, everything I need to replace this and that which works but it's never mixed right uh, the, ever since I got it brand new and a couple years ago or well last year it froze and uh, I, the hot water wouldn't work anymore so I'd take that apart and fix it I took every little piece out of it and fixed it now it's working but you don't have much settings for hot water so I got this new one it has this rain shower head and it also has an ec another head that's mounted permanent I don't even remember exactly how it went but uh, yeah we're gonna get that going tomorrow I, I, that's gonna be nice and then I gotta finish this it's dark in here I know so I've got cedar all the way around here on the ceiling I don't know if I ran out or what it was. I'm kind of glad I didn't put it in here uh, yet because I would just have to take it back, well, a couple pieces off. So I think I got some of that outside there. Uh, that's three quarter inch cedar. It was a pain. You had to bevel the bottoms there to make it fit over this. I know it's dark. Uh, if I turn this light on, then your fan comes with it. <laughs> so anyway, I'll get that on and uh, that's gonna be nice I'll still have my handheld but then I'll have a higher I can set that one up I, 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 you'll see how it goes I have to get the instructions out the one goes up higher so you've got a, and then you can shut either one off at a time or run them both at the same time so I've got all that well there's me my cedar right there to finish that because I've already tore all the rest of it off this closet uh, and then I need to get take some of that leftover insulation from the dog's place and uh put it in up there so I, i've been having trouble in here with freezing in the winter because all that insulation on the roof you can see i've got old shirts and stuff stuffed in there i'm gonna get that out and i'm gonna do it right if i'm gonna tear it out i'm gonna do it right i'm probably gonna run my hot water from my water lines from that room i don't know where they're going but they're freezing in the winter when it gets really really cold and i'm tired of messing with it so yeah it's dark all right well at least you've seen part of my bathroom which ain't finished yet <laughs> there's my vessel sink that's been working out pretty well probably needs to be clean yeah there's my bathroom I have a toilet too, a real toilet. It works. All right, guys, here's my bathroom tour. And yesterday I, I took one of them rods and hung it up here under the stairs. And I got all my shirts hung. I threw away a lot of clothes yesterday. Uh, clothes I never wear, so why keep them? So I got all this stuff cleaned out from under the stairs. Now I can, I can make a lot of storage under these stairs. Uh, I don't know what the hold up is. Well, the hold up was I was going to be working outside. And now I'm not. So, and then as you, if you watched my stair builds, you know all this is new. I uh, built last winter. I had actually a little office in here, my little cubby hole. If you look at my very first videos, I was sitting right in there. And uh, I still got to finish all this, man. Still got that light hanging there. So yeah, there's work to do in here, and I'm just gonna start, I mean, I've got, we probably got two months more of this heat where I can't be out there. So I might as well start working on the inside and getting it looking nice. And uh, you, she went out for five minutes and you would think she's dying. She plays every little thing off. She got stung by a wasp about three, four years ago. She played that off for a month. Yep. But I have believe it did hurt. And I pretty much got the stair rail and all that done. There's a few more things I want to do, but let me see if we can go up in here. I know I got a lot of new subscribers. If you didn't go back and watch my videos, you wouldn't not have seen my loft. 
and it's dark up here sorry guys if this is a dark video but as you can see it's become another storage it's become storage like it was only i can get up here now <laughs> uh, but there's and it's really not that hot up here now imagine if i was working and uh i seen the other day i was up here i had a bottle of pine saw somehow that i threw something up here and it knocked it over and that's that stain right there and i noticed in here it was smelling real good for like two weeks well that's why couldn't figure but it didn't do any damage uh i looked where that's yeah it didn't really hurt anything so yeah and this is all unfinished doesn't have electric yet i haven't run any electric all, all these old wires i've cut at somewhere i uh, kind of wished i hadn't so i could fish them new ones back through but i did and i don't need a lot of electric up here so i've already got an existing line running underneath actually i can get, tap into it right here that's on a 30 amp breaker so i can run another five six outlets out of that and so i told you guys i was starving for content we're doing tours of places i've already shown everybody and this is where the deck's gonna be if i can ever get to it and i noticed that them wasps boy there's a big nest under there now yeah i will definitely have to spray that before i go back out here so hopefully we're going to get this deck on in time to enjoy it for fall and winter winters here are mild and it's going to be nice i'll get a, in the fall i'll get a lot of that stuff cut back out there have a better view so yeah hey that the decking will be good and dry by then that's for sure and i'm going to stain it before i put it up so all right guys well uh, the door is there we go that one day it blew water it blew the door open and, and water was rushing in here and i had it pouring down there <laughs> all right there's the tour let's do all right that's all i got for today guys uh i appreciate y'all supporting uh my channel even when i don't have anything really interesting uh but like you know with homestead things this is part of it man this is the reality you know and most of us in this country are cooped up because of this heat there's nothing we can do so hey i gotta keep paying the electric bill which will be double i'm <laughs> sure because that air conditioner does not shut off probably i think it shuts off about i woke up at three in the morning and it shut off until about seven but then it was it was it was still hot i like to have it running when i'm sleeping because i sleep right there by it in the recliner and i think i'm gonna try to start sleeping in that bed again i haven't slept in that thing in probably six months i just wasn't getting good night's sleep i may try elevating it my grandmother had to do that uh i remember when we were kids we'd go over there and spend the summers with her and she'd have to have her bed elevated and i slept good in it that way because uh, I, I get you know some reason i'm waking up a lot if i sleep in the bed so but i discovered in the recliner i get a really good night's sleep in there so that's where i've been sleeping but man i'm gonna wear those things out quick but well, i may try to start you know going into the bed again but uh, hey you know if i'm getting a good night's sleep why change it so anyway uh i appreciate y'all supporting and support the other channels that aren't out doing a lot if they're putting videos out uh, the younger ones are still doing some work, but I guarantee you they're not doing it in the afternoon mm -mm. Not that it's 107 There's no way But they're doing you know, there's things you can do you got a few hours in the morning a few hours in the evening I'm taking it. I take advantage of that and uh, We'll get through it. You know, yeah, hey, it may be a horrible winter. Who knows? Uh, it hasn't been I can't complain. We've only had one hot miserable summer like this since I've been here you know it's going to happen all throughout history it happens every 10 15 years sometimes it happens every five years but you got to have you know got to take the bad with the good all right guys i appreciate you and i appreciate everybody going over uh his name's peter i put him on my community page brand new channel he, he just got the introduction but 
he reminded me a lot of when I started this place. Bad back troubles, and I did. I was walking with a cane just off a of walker. I mean, I, I went through almost two solid years of being on a cane and a walker, and I just started working, man. And if you believe everything doctors tell you, well, you're wrong. You just start working. And, and now I'm, I'm probably better off than I was 10 years ago. But I know the problems I have, and I and I know I, I work at a different level now. I don't I don't bend over and just pick things up. I think about them. And so if he's got dreams. He's not a whole lot younger than me. Uh, but I watched his video, and a lot of you have. Already, I mean, he's already he had five subscribers when I watched it. Now he's at last I looked 107. So that's good. And and it's people that I sent over. Uh, he's going to have another video up in a few days. So let's give him some encouragement. He's got some property in Tennessee. Uh, Old Man's King Homestead. I think that's the name of it. But go look on my community page. It's still up. Uh, I don't leave things up on community pages very long. I just I don't like to scroll through a bunch of stuff. Uh, if it's old news, it's gone. But I will leave that up for a while. And you guys have been great. So go support him and continue to support all the channels you watch. And the dogs are barking. Happy trails.